Hey little bit, this is Purge, I'm bringing you guys a special uh, Warcraft 3 Dota 1 content here. I'm sitting here with my friend Memoria, how are you doing man? Hey Purge, how's it going? Thanks for having me on. Pretty well. Uh, what I am doing here, I know I told you guys that I was going to play these new heroes, but I just, damn it, I never got around to it. I almost did it, but then it was Christmas and uh, I just ended up uh, losing that mood. So uh, instead of me playing, I'm going to have him demonstrate with one of his old replays. Uh, that. Uh, when did you record this? Sometime this week? Um, it was about a week and a half ago, I believe. Okay, so uh, a week and a half ago, old replay, which is fine. But um, if you guys are wondering about our history, we've been playing pubs together forever. Um, I think we first started off when I used to be hosting uh, Dota pubs on Battle.net. People used to have to mm -hmm. host the games, like decide manually to host custom games. And I used to host them using List Checker in my college dorm room. And we happened to pub together a few times, and from then on, uh, just internet friends playing Dota together. So it's been a very long history. Yep, I uh, think I've been playing with you for about three or four years now, Purge? Probably uh, two at least. At least two, two to three. Yeah. I've only been playing Dota probably three and a half all right, now, all right, I think. Then it's, I think it's about two, two and a half years. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, it was a long time ago, so uh, we are the the highest ranking members in Clan BCF. Represent. Represent, <laughs> for sure, Clan BCF. <laughs> we, didn't do, uh, we never accomplished anything at all, but um, Chachi's... We had a lot of fun. Yeah, we had a lot of fun playing. Yeah, unless unless we had more than five people, and then we would just yell at each other because teams would never be fair because our our skill range is too wide. <laughs> but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna be watching him play Goblin Shredder here. I'm gonna be trying to keep an eye on the entire game. Um, I I haven't actually played. I've only played one of the new heroes, the uh, the guy on the horse, but that's about it. So, um, it's up to you to explain how this hero performs. All right. Uh, so, Goblin Shredder. Um, I think of him as a very very interesting strength hero. Uh, he's about he's a strength caster. Um, base strength gain of about 2.2 mm -hmm. and he has pretty decent in gain too while his agi is not too great Think, uh, so it kind of reminds you of something like a clockwork but very unique in his own way mm -hmm. um, now we have uh, just gonna give you guys a brief rundown of his spells um, his first spell is whirling axes what it does is produce axes in a 300 AOE and at level 1 it does about 80 damage now, what makes this spell pretty interesting is that it has a low mana cost, first of all. Uh, at level 1, the mana cost is only about 60. And um, it does pure damage if you cut down trees along with hitting, hitting an enemy hero or a creep. Hmm. So if you cut down trees, you will do pure damage to your enemy. And also, this spell also drains the primary attribute of your enemy hero by 15%. Which is a pretty big deal, so if you guys aren't very familiar with it, pure damage is very, very sparingly used um, all the way throughout Dota. There's a couple heroes that do have pure damage spells, or here or there we'll see a buff uh, to make a spell pure damage, make it scale better, but it works better against low HP targets who have really, really high mana or really high resistance. So it works good against tanky heroes that end up having a lot of armor like Dragon Knight and things like that. Yes, um... Whirling Axis is very, very useful against strength heroes. Not only does it lower their base HP, um, it also does damage. And if you can do pure damage, lower the hero's HP, it's you're just doing much more damage than you would to an int hero or to an agi hero. Mm -hmm. uh, that being said, you do reduce the armor of the agi hero when you when you hit him with the Whirling Axis, which also helps uh, in bringing him down. But overall, I find it to be extremely useful against the tankier heroes. Mm -hmm. And now moving on to his second spell, uh, Timber Chains. Uh, this is one of the spells that gives this hero the mobility and the, and to like move around the map. Uh, basically makes him Spider-Man. You can latch on at level 1 to any tree um, at an 800 distance away from you. Pulling yourself to that tree and doing a certain amount of damage, which I believe at level 1 is 80 damage mm -hmm. as soon as you get in there. Um, it helps him... You would, you'll see how I use it um, as this replay progresses. Uh, I find it to be pretty, pretty useful. And it's a lot of fun to use as well. So you did do a little bit of pulling here, and uh, you're going to be up against uh, Triumph, but that was fine. So you got most of the pull last hits. Um, you yep. don't currently have a stout shield currently, but why don't you talk about your third skill quick? Alright, so now third, the third skill, basically, every time the Shredder gets hit, the third skill is called Reactive Armor. So every time Shredder gets hit, he gets one armor and one HP regen per instance that he gets hit. The more you level it up, the more instances you can stack up. And here we see I'm just making an initiation attempt, and I lashed onto that tree using my timber chains, doing a bit of damage, and then finish him off with a right click. 
Uh, pretty standard, extremely, extremely useful against strength heroes once again. That Whirling Axe is doing a lot of yeah, damage over there. It seemed, man. It hit, hit really, really hard. That was pretty amazing, actually. And once again, it does lower their primary attributes. So against strength heroes, that means their HP gets lowered as well. So it's really, really good for tank heroes. Yep. So um, going back to the reactive armor, um, every time you get hit, you get one charge. Each charge gives you one armor and one HP regen. Each charge lasts about 16 seconds, I believe, and at max level, you can stack up to 16 charges, giving you a total of 16 armor and 16 HP regen on top of what you already have. Um, this is awesome. I don't know about you guys, but 16 HP regen at like level 7, level 8, uh, and diving towers, diving heroes with about 10 armor, 12 armor. It's a big deal. It is a huge deal. It makes them really tanky. It makes them... You can bait really well with him because you have really high armor and you're regening at an insane rate for early game. Um, you can bait people into a lot of sticky situations. You can use your timber chains to kind of mess up their positioning. It's an it's an amazing, amazing passive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds pretty awesome. So yeah, like I said, uh, he doesn't actually have a stout shield, but that's kind of something that you'd want to couple it with. That way, if you block that damage, you still get the regen anyways. So the regen is going to heal up a portion of that damage, and the damage block would also prevent some of that damage. And it ends up, you can just kind of tank creeps, I believe, and uh, regen a lot of HP as a result. Yeah, just to give you guys an example, um, without uh, taking up too much time, uh, you could walk into a neutral creep of, uh, you know, a weak neutral creep, tank about six hits, not lose too much HP, and just walk out. And before your stacks run out, you would have gained more than half your HP back. Uh, it's very useful. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And it looks like you picked up an energy booster here, probably going for Arcane Boots, I'm assuming. Um, yeah. Do you think that's the best boots for him? Um, I think that is by far the best boots that you could get on Shredder. Uh, here we see making a kill, up, kill attempt on the Slardar, but Sprint is just... Really good. Can't catch up with it without boots. But still, you did a lot of damage, and now you're actually diving a roof round. Holy crap, did that Shred do a crap load. That was yeah, I was ridiculous. I was being a bit uh, <laughs> a bit over aggressive over there. I could have probably gotten him, but um, I didn't know how much. I was just testing out the damage. What's your and skill build currently, it. by the way? All right, so this game usually with Shredder, I always uh, because the mana cost goes up, mana cost for whirling axes and the timber chains goes up significantly. Uh, the more you level it up, mm -hmm. I usually max reactive armor. But as you can see, this game, there's a Crystal Maiden on my team. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I've been getting pretty decent farm, so I can reach my Arcane Boots pretty fast. So I've decided to max Whirling Axes. Um, at max level, Whirling Axes does 250 damage. Wow. And it costs about 100 mana. So I think I should be able to afford it with the CM and Arcane Boots. So I just thought of maxing it instead and see how it works out. And it's working really good, man. You're hitting those guys super hard. So if we lower... Let's do a little bit of math quick. We'll see if I can do this correctly. If Slaughter has about... Oh, well, he has 29 base strength right now. If that gets lowered by 15%, we're talking, uh, I believe, like 4.5 strength. I'm not sure how yes. it rounds, but 4 strength and is about 80 HP, which is yeah. a pretty big amount. So 80 HP reduction, and then he takes 280 or so uh, pure damage. So that's that's like 40% of his total HP. Yeah. That's a crap And it load. doesn't sound like much, but H uh, strength also gives you HP regen, not to forget. And mm -hmm. um, while by lowering his strength, you're also effectively lowering the amount of HP that he regens, making him a pretty decent... It's another, another factor that makes him a good chasing hero. Yeah, it's not huge amounts, uh, but it will be bigger at later games. Uh, the, yeah, the, yeah the it scales HP. well. It scales well. Yeah, exactly. It does scale better. So you do have your Arcane Boots picked up. I'm expecting you get a right. Stout Shield next. Um, now, as you, as you guys might have noticed, I bought a chicken at the start of the game. Um, I think that Shredder is not really a hero who needs insane amounts of farm. Uh, you can definitely get items to help your team out, maybe make a... Uh, buy a few wards early game if you can afford a quick arcane boot. It's once you reach an arcane boot, you're pretty much uh, set, uh, somewhat like an earthshaker, somewhat like a sand king, more like. Um, you can just go around the map, uh, do ganks, earn the money. Otherwise, that's why I chose not to start with a stout shield. Otherwise, if you're not getting a chicken, I would suggest starting with a stout shield, three branches, tango self mm -hmm. for standard. All right, and we haven't even spoken about the alt yet. Purge. Well, it's time to talk about it. So yep. You just used it. <laughs> yeah. All right, Chakram. A uh, very, very, very fun ult to use. Uh, it reminds you of one of those traps from the old Prince of, Prince of Persia games. Uh, not familiar. I'm sorry. I only right, play Dota. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so Chakram. All right. Here we see him 
the sniper getting hunted down by Slardar on sprint, I don't think he noticed. Um, either way, Chakram. <laughs> Sorry, I keep getting distracted. It's okay. Alright, so every time you cast Chakram, you fire your weapon, whatever you're carrying in, in on your right arm. You fire it out to a distance of about 1200, 1200 distance, and you do, at max level, I believe it's 150 pure damage. Okay. When you throw it out, and additional damage when you pull it back in. Now, the uh, the chakram also does damage the longer units are caught in it, and it also slows their their movement speed by how much HP they're missing. So the more HP you're missing, the more you will get slowed while you're in the chakram. I see. And uh, what are the requirements to throw it out? Does it cost a bunch of mana or something? No, it doesn't cost any mana to use. However, when you do throw it out, your mana does get drained at a pretty fast rate. Um, I believe it's about 60 mana per second. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so it drains your mana the longer it's out, so you can't really have it out for a long time. Is there a cooldown then, or can you just endlessly toss it and bring it back? No, there is a cooldown of about uh, 8 seconds for every chakram you throw. Okay. Uh, so you, it's semi spammable, you could use it pretty often. But at the same time, it drains your mana quite a, mu quite a lot, so you have to be a bit conservative with it. However, the cooldown is pretty short. And it it's very useful. It's extremely useful in chasing situations. Uh, you can block off paths, especially when people are pushing up ramps. You can hold like you can force people to position contrary to what they normally would, just because of throwing up throwing a good chakram out there. Mm -hmm. So he's very much a positioning here, and it looks like you teleport to the bot lane, go into gank, which I was just looking around. I was like, could he be ganking right now? Yep. And uh, I just noticed some action going on that we've got in the tower top, there's not too much to do there. And here, me, here you see me initiating on the tree. And right there you see they're going into the choke point, just to cut them off. The Chakram does a pretty, it does pure damage as well by the way, I don't know if I mentioned, but it's all the damage it does is pure. Mm -hmm. uh, when it goes out, while it's spinning and while it's getting pulled back, here you see me try and get a kill on this tree. And you, might be, you might be behind me for some reason, again. Which is unusual. Uh, Slarder's now ulting on you. I'm at 13.05 and you just died. Alright. 13.08, 13.09. I can pause. Alright, I pause okay. at 13.10. Let me know when you get there. Yeah. Alright, I'm there. Okay. Alright, 13.11, 13.12, 13.13. Good? Yeah, good. I'm not I'm not really sure how we do sync. I don't know. Uh, maybe somebody has... A couple freeze points or something. It could be something small like that, you know. I know you Might have a shitty computer. computer. Yeah. <laughs> That's full <what> we'll blame. <laughs> all right, but you did get a good kill on the Treant. Chase him down. Used all of your abilities. When you did the uh, the shackle and the spin, it was ridiculous. It took out like yeah. all of his HP. And uh, bear in mind that was just level one or level two timber chains at max. Uh -huh. I'm not sure what I got this game, uh, but I'm pretty sure it was level one timber chains. That looked like 800 distance. I would believe so. Yeah, I thought um, that was seemed about there. Um, yeah, and that was just level 1. Level 1 Timber Chains does only about 80 damage uh, when you go in, while you're chaining in with whoever gets caught in the path. Looks like you can't um, do TP. Yeah, that was, uh, you know, one of those times. <laughs> yes. We're just really in a hurry to get somewhere. <laughs> and too lazy to shift click. Did you know that in Dota 2, you can see the channeling bar for teleport scrolls, so you never mess yeah, it yeah. up? Well, I that's not it, true. It, it happens, is. but... It's okay. Alright, so now you're going for more ganks. You still don't have any armor items. I'm a little worried about that Slardar, to be honest, because yep. amp damage. Now, um, when Shredder starts out at level 1, his base armor is only 0 0.2. And this Drow doesn't look like he's going to get away. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. And did you, like, melee attack while you're flying past? Yep, yep. you can use items. You can. Uh, one really cool thing I've noticed that you can do, I don't think I display it in this game, but is you can timber chain, you can throw your ult out. And while your chakram is spinning, you can timber chains to a separate location. And while you're moving there, you can pull the chakram back in. Uh, effectively doing damage to everyone in your path. Mm -hmm. uh, which it doesn't possibly add up, or it's extremely situational, but it looks awesome. Yeah, so, that sounds really cool. Like, you can do some really fancy kills and things like that. Yep, definitely. Or just spread the damage across more people that way, with yeah. your positioning. Sounds pretty yep. interesting. I'm gonna have to wait till it comes to Dota 2 probably though, unfortunately. <laughs> Which is we both know is gonna be nine months away. <laughs> nine months away? Is that the time? I don't know. We'll see. One one hero a week, and they're thirty behind right now. 
All right, here you see me being uh, pretty uh, distracted. Dirked. Just, yep. <laughs> But I think I was going for I was I'm landing with snipers, so I was going for the sni uh, three that he spotted. I see. Well, and you did pick him off there. Um, yeah. The, man, the spin did so much damage once again. That yeah, was I missed a timber change over there. Uh, too close to a tree. And another poor timber chains, but I think we should be able to catch the bristle back. That was regardless. close. You almost died for sure. Uh, yeah. Amp damage with uh, uh, bristle back is really dangerous, actually. If you guys does, don't know, he's, he he's a Dota 1 hero, he does damage, he does physical damage, so if you lower somebody's armor and then use that, it stacks and does more and more damage with time, so he, he definitely was like a second away from dying there. Yeah, I I think I was on 4 or 5 stacks of Quill Spray, um, but yeah, that, that would have hurt me pretty bad. So where do you go next in your item build? Alright, so now what I'm looking for is completing a Vanguard. Now, as you can see, to justify my item build, Shredder's uh, Agi is very low indeed. Yeah. Um, it doesn't really make sense for you to get uh, DPS items on him uh, because of that low agi. However, um, all his spells, he has three spells that require mana, and it makes sense to go Arcane Boots. Uh, having a high mana pool for a strength hero is pretty much standard. Mm -hmm. um, now, next I'm going for a Vanguard. You see, as you can see, I did not choose to go for the Ring of Health uh, because of his passive, which gives me insane regen anyways. Mm -hmm. Instead, just stacking on a little bit more HP, going for my Vanguard. Um, since you're going to be, most of his spells are melee range, uh, the Whirling Axe is for one, the one you use the most is melee range, so you're going to be in the heat of the battle taking a lot of damage. And Vanguard is a beast item uh, in that regard. Yeah, for sure. And looks like your Tinker, wow, boots of travel so fast now, 100 movement speed. He's like yeah. running faster than the, the hasted Slardar, is that ridiculous or what? Yeah. Uh, travels is awesome. I think they gave it a buff to MS as well as it's 200 gold cheaper yeah, now. Yeah, it was, a, it was like 5 or something, yeah. but nothing major movement suit wise. Uh, yeah, but I love playing Tinker now, just the fact that you can get travels effectively by like 8 or 9 minutes uh -huh. if you see it, right? Get a good lane. It's, and with Tinker, you almost always get a good lane. Yeah, it's still tough though. In, in pubs now, people ward a lot more and stuff like that, so it can be tough to get those items off uh, to not get ganked and stuff like that. Yep. Alright, so you get a free dude in the jungle. Still no wards on the map. <laughs> <laughs> Rockets coming in. Bristleback. Alright, now uh, the Bristleback and the Drower caught out of position. Uh, that was unnecessary, but chose to do it anyways. That slow is very interesting. It's, yeah, it's, it's very temporary, more, more often than not, it seems exactly. like. Exactly, and I think that's really good. Um, it would be a bit broken if the slow lasted, you know, like Slarda Crush. Where it lasts about two seconds, one or two seconds after, even after it, after you come out of the sun. Uh huh. Uh, but the fact that as soon as you escape the chakram, you're free of the slow. You know, it makes it it makes it a hard spell to use. You have to, you have to position it, time it right, make sure the person that you're targeting is gonna be affected by the slow enough for you to land the next stun on him or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it, it makes it balanced. Uh, although it is a spell that is pretty spammable, pretty long range, really good for positioning, really good for. Uh, Team fights, but at the same time, you know, if you can escape it with a moderately high HP, then you're good to go. It's not really that Imba, mm -hmm. as most people on Dota 1 seem to think. Really? They actually think he's an Imba hero? No, uh, well, they think the Chakram is pretty Imba. Well, I think they're more concerned with Zin and Legion Commander than Shredder, and I don't think there are too many people who've actually attempted playing Shredder that much. So, oh. I haven't really faced any decent Shredder players. Uh, so far. Hmm. So where would you go with an item build after this? I'm thinking probably armor or something. Well, yeah, I can see now. Plus 12 armor just from those neutrals. You didn't yep. budge on your HP at all. At all. And this works with... Uh, it works extremely well while you're jungling. Uh, what I usually like to do this game, I've been... I think I did it once or twice with the sniper this game, where I would just walk into the neutrals, tank everything, and just let him have all the last hits. Uh, That's it's so nice of pretty... you. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a sniper, you know, and yeah. I mean, I've I've played enough pubs to know that sometimes you just lose because your carry isn't farmed enough. Yeah, that's definitely yeah. true. I, I actually really like his item builds. I, lo I love the phase Yasha. I wish he had a ring of aqua instead of a poor man's, but I like the bracer actually. I think that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I think uh, this was the, this was the first time he was actually trying for the the phase Django build on sniper. Mm -hmm. uh, gives you better positioning. Big phase time. gives you yeah. Better last hitting. Um, 
you know, even though Sniper has a really good animation, his base damage is really shitty early on, so I think it's really nice. There's a semi-defensive shock room, but that worked out really good. It looks like Drow is just gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I don't think we I don't think we mentioned the fact that this is like pretty much a pub game. It's oh, pretty yeah. one-sided, and uh, you know the entire purpose was to show you guys what Shredder is capable of. Uh, by no means is this the uh, the peak of Shredder play, but uh, it gives you a brief idea about his spells and how you can possibly use them in a pub game or or when you're playing with your friends, etc. Yeah, and that's important. I mean, um, this is this is kind of what we had to do as Warcraft Three or Dota One players, guys. We had to play random games joined by anybody and there's like literally nothing you can do about it. It's like, well if you want to play Dota you gotta play pub games. And it was very rare actually that you'd end up playing a even matchup, but that's just kinda how it is, so unfortunately. Alright, Shrapnel coming through, looking for more AoE. Uh using your ulti a lot, but Yeah, the cooldown is so short and I have and I'm pretty much out of mana right now, but uh I love using his his ult uh, just partly due to the fact that you can you you have so much freedom with it you know it, it doesn't it doesn't limit you other than attacking and as a shredder having like like as you can see 76 base damage at level 11 you don't really want to be attacking that much so it's not a big thing losing your auto attack while yeah. your ult is out it doesn't really hurt him at all oh, stupid respawn <laughs> keep shooting my camera to random places um, yeah, you dodge the slaughter stun there. Uh, a lot of really interesting positioning things you can do, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, the, the range on it at max level, I believe. Um, I, I would need to double check. But. Um, timber chains at max range, it's 1400. It's pretty, pretty high, pretty long range. Did you see and, where uh, the, uh, the bristleback was hiding? Yeah, uh, no, I I had no idea the entire time. <laughs> I have no I, I had no idea he was there. I don't know why he was there. I think he gave up already. He didn't want but... his stats to get worse, obviously. <laughs> he almost has his vanguard. He needs those Dota Cash stats, man. They're really important. Indeed, indeed. Speaking of which, he used to be uh, one of the top ranked in North America, correct? On pub games. At um, least. yes, at one point, at one point. I believe you were top ten, which is pretty. It's a, yes, it's I a was big top deal. ten on Dota Cash for a while. Uh, back then I used to play a lot and we used to play with pretty decent people as well then most of our friends stopped playing some of them stopped playing some of them moved on to other games yeah that was about when but I played Starcraft 2 for three months I think exactly and then I um, actually came back mostly in North America though I just play pub pubs and like just play with my friends casually mm -hmm. um, but when I go back home usually it's when we play like LAN a lot of LAN a whole lot of LAN tournaments uh, just in-house games, stuff like that. And it makes me jealous. Uh, that's always the stuff that I've wanted to do uh, as time went on, but just never really, uh, never really got the option, unfortunately. But that's okay. Matchmaking is coming. <laughs> then nobody yeah, has to screw up. Matchmaking is great, though. Yeah. Um, it is pretty. Like we've been dealing with just you know bots and custom games on Dota and One Weavers for way too long now. For forever. It's we deserve better. Yeah, I would say. <laughs> yeah. Every time I come back to Dota One, I realize like. How much better Dota 2 is, and yeah. I actually get comments occasionally that, like, the earlier this week, some guy was like, "Dude, this game is so shit. Like, Dota 1 is better." <laughs> it's like, how the fuck can you say that? No, you know, honestly, like, honestly, uh, I, I don't share that opinion, but I understand why he would say something like that. Uh, Dota 1, like, the reason I still play Dota 1 to this day is because one, because I don't, have, my computer is not good enough to run Dota 2. Even though I have a beta key, and the only few games I think I've played with you, Purge, have been on my brother's laptop. Yeah. Uh, that's one reason. The second reason is uh, I could, I foresee Dota 1 becoming less and less popular as time progresses once Dota 2 actually comes out. Uh -huh. And uh, I don't know if it's just that's something I've been telling myself, but I kind of want to enjoy you know, the final days of Dota 1 while it's still out there. Because I know eventually I will have to make the switch to Dota 2. Once my PC can handle it, I can escape the fact no longer. Uh, uh, I guess so. You can still... <laughs> we'll, yeah, we'll but I, no, the Dota 1, I, I think it's a great game. I still think it's so playable in 2012. I mean, come on. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's, it's, a, it's a really good engine. I'm a Warcraft 3 player by heart anyways. You know this, Purge. Yep. Uh, so I love the engine. I love the game. I love, you know, just the... Uh, just the fact that it's still so... It's, still so, you know, relevant in this day and age. Uh-huh. 
it's so playable and most of my friends you know they don't have they don't play Dota 2 so for now that's why I stick to it but that being said Dota 2 is amazing and I just can't wait till all the heroes come out till my computer can run it and then there'll be nothing stopping me from making the switch dude you Shredder is like a diving master. Holy crap! Dude, like honestly, <laughs> he's so he's so fun. There, <laughs> it, it looks amazing when you get those kills where you just shred them with your ult and then you pull it back in. That was so many dead trees. That was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Killed everything. And I love Bristleback at the end. He's like, "Come find me, guys." It's like, uh, <laughs> I don't care. I don't care about you. Okay. Well, if if any hero could find him, it would probably be Shredder. Yeah, that's probably true. Or Beast. I would say Beastmaster first and foremost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beastmaster. Or not Zeus. Zeus probably. <laughs> Zeus would be the master. Spectre, dude. That's true. Spectre could like immediately get there too. She'd be like, "Bitch, where are you hiding?" Dude, there are so many. Yeah, that's true. Probably a lot of awesome heroes. All right, well, uh, thanks for making the video with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more, just leave it in the comments below. We'll see if I uh, see if we can get Memoria here to play some more. Um, do you have any? <laughs> do you have anything to plug or shoutouts or anything? Um. Yeah, shout out to everyone Clan BCF for now, I guess. Um, thank you very much, Perch, for having me on, and always a, always a pleasure. Alright, and if you guys were wondering, Memoria was one of my first six subscribers, so it's a pretty big deal. Uh, <laughs> you didn't know that yet. But. Dude, if, if you guys were wondering, uh, when Perch first started, when he first thought of making, like, you know, Perch's famous Dota guide, and actually starting, you know, that started taking up casting, we actually talked about it, and, I'm, and I was like, dude, Perch, you should totally do that. I think it would be great. That's true. I did talk to them about that. I was like, dude, I can't believe nobody's done this before me. At the time, I didn't know about Luminous. Uh, Luminous obviously did it way before I did, but um, how I couldn't believe that nobody had made a YouTube channel about Dota. Um, other than Luminous, there was a very, very few mounts that were doing it very successfully, so it, it kind of blew well, I think I think I speak for everyone in Clan BCF when we say that we're very proud of you, Purge. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so if you guys ever want to go hang out, Clan BCF in Warcraft 3 Dota, um, you just may find some of my ex-clan mates. Well, I guess they're still my clan mates, but I don't play with them anymore, really. But that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you should. New you should get a new computer, damn it. Alright, that's okay. Alright, All right, thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it. Uh, leave comments below if you have any questions or comments. Um, Shredder seems really awesome. This gameplay was pretty cool, so thanks once again for coming, and if you guys want to see more from me, please subscribe, and thanks for watching. Please Goodbye. subscribe. Yes, please.